Anytime my spirit is going down, I pray every one hour. There are many people who are not facing any attack because they are cold, they are lazy, they are unserious. You are prayerless. That's why you are still forgetting. We are asking that the Lord conquer us. That when we pray that one prayer, I'll we'll add one more. We have to pray for Nigeria. We have to pray for Nigeria. Hallelujah. Growing up, we were made to sing the national anthem and the national pledge. And we said many powerful things in those anthems that burnt in our hearts. Today, we have many people who do not understand the value and the power of nationhood. Thank God for very visionary leaders and people who are, you know, making this great contribution to help build a sense of leadership and decorum. It is the assignment, listen to me, it is the assignment of the church to pray that any nation they find themselves, is a pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We are going to pray. Elections are by the corner. We are only weeks away. And... As it has been before now, every time is the moment of election, you find deaths, all kinds of things. I don't care who comes into power. If people die, it's not worth it. We have to first pray that God will preserve lives. Nobody who comes into power has the power to bring, to bring the breadwinner of a woman whose son, if the woman, the widow at Nain had lost her husband and now her only son had died. She didn't care whether it was Jesus who was coming, she was mourning until Jesus came and solved her problem. Listen to me. We have, we hopefully by the miracle service will take more time to pray, but the, I don't do politics, I don't do partisan politics. There are people in every party in this, in Koinonia and fatherhood is your father to everybody i've prayed for people across every party even some i don't even know they existed i still prayed that's my job are we together now but i will tell you this listen carefully listen carefully please we're going to pray we have to pray for three things number one that god will help us and that his will will be done for this nation we're tired of a lot of rubbish and nonsense in this nation are we together number two this is my personal observation, and I'm saying this to the body of Christ. Our emphasis seems to have been only on presidency. We are making a big mistake. No, there is no single president without the support of visionary governors, house members who can do well. That the illusion that it doesn't matter who comes into power, Nigeria will magically change is a joke. Nigeria is a democracy, it's a composite. There are 774 local governments, every one of them manned by leaders. And I can tell you, even if Lot is a good man, if he's surrounded by a place like Sodom and Gomorrah, he will still be ineffective. So the prayer, our attention seems to be on only the presidency. And I understand the dynamics of politics, I'm a Nigerian. But then we must extend our prayer to all the 36 states, all the senatorial zones, the, you know, the local governments and all of that, down to the councillor. If a councillor is a thief, he has contributed to the, pro the trouble in this, in this nation. Don't say what he stole is small. Stealing is still stealing. Are we together? Yes. Now, I'm saying this on air and I'm being very careful. I'm not, I have profound respect for the body of Christ and all the voices across the body of Christ, but I want you to listen to this. Please listen. And there's a reason why I'm saying this. I've seen many things about the election. Ethically, I don't come out to just, I respect God, I respect this ministry, and I respect myself too. Are we together? But I can tell you, there are two warnings, and I want you to quote me. I saw this in a vision. Media houses, be careful. This is one of the things I saw in my vision. I've prayed over it, but I saw serious problem coming because of mismanagement of commu effective communication across media houses, both social media and this. Let us be careful, and my encouragement to media people is act with no prejudices and biases and with the highest level of professionalism um, available for the sake of the citizens 
I believe that people have their personal bi biases and, and, and everybody is allowed to do so. But there are mistakes that the media has been making for a long time and it's not brought a national repercussion. But I fear that if we do not take out time and those who head media houses, if there are any here, I know we have one or two, it's my word of caution lovingly to you and then across the body of Christ. Media houses, let us be careful because what I saw was a problem that evolved from media. Praise God. Us is to pray, but media, we have to be careful what we report. I believe there are systems and structures that govern mass communication. And as much as possible, I'm lending my voice on behalf of many who mean well for this nation to see that we do the needful with wisdom and intelligence. And that also means that those who man several social media platforms, whether personal or corporate, we must be able to fear God and love this nation more than the ability to drive traffic to our personal pages. Don't just sell conflict and sell nonsense because you are desperate for traffic and you do not care the repercussion that comes from people. Are we together? If you cause somebody pain and you make gain from it, you will not sleep well. It's a law. Are we together? So I'm saying this, I, I owe it to make my own contribution as much as God has granted grace. Authority has jurisdiction. We have fathers of faith in this nation. And I'm a man of God, but we have been trained enough to have spiritual intelligence. There are things that is not us that will speak. The fathers have a voice that is greater than us. Let them do the speaking. Us as sons is to make our own contribution as much as possible. And this is something men of God need to learn. I'm saying it to especially my generation of men of God. Don't think just because you saw and heard, you come and stand and speak. In every house, there is authority structure. Even among the demons, it was one person who spoke on behalf of the rest. Let's behave ourselves in the body of Christ so we do not make a fool out of the anointing. Now we owe a duty, everybody owes a duty to communicate whatever he heard and saw. But when you are speaking, I told you that influence is a very delicate commodity. You can use it to destroy people. Let us try, let's show the body of Christ and our nation that as men of God we were trained. Let's not come out like people from the wilderness with no decorum. It is not everything you see that you say. There are, the Bible says Mary kept these things to herself. The ability to keep things because according to scripture, it says a word spoken in due season. There is a due season for every word. So I'm encouraging you, respectfully speaking, fellow colleagues, you know, and, and different co-laborers in the vineyard, let us manage especially communication of prophecies. I by no means devalue or de I'll bring disdain to any man of God communicating any prophetic word. No, I am for the body of Christ. I hold every man of God as much as God grants grace in the esteem that is due their grace and the anointing. But this, I am saying it that we need to learn. Let us be contributors to nation building and not destroy because of the, the itch to show we are accurate. The desire to have a nation that is built with intelligence and godliness should be greater than a man of God trying to show that he is great. Are we together? Let's pray for Nigeria. Please rise up on your feet. Mm. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. We, decree we decree and declare over Nigeria. Over Nigeria. We, declare we declare peace. We declare, peace. We declare tranquility. We declare and we declare that the election will be violence free. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray.